Hi, I'm Kaylin, Coach Maven, creator of Soul Keeper and co-founder of the Golden Flow System of Accelerated Enlightenment and Well-Being. What do you do when you, with your child, have made a mistake? I help parents become soul keepers. Mistakes are a real common thing that we can become a soul keeper on instead of being a frustrated parent or an unhappy parent. Now, I want to point out that traditionally speaking, and hopefully this is really changing, but um, you know, as parents we're taught that we're supposed to be right and we aren't supposed to apologize to children and it's almost like we're supposed to save face. But what's the point? It's so silly. We, you know, all, you know what? What happens when someone does something to you and they really should apologize and they don't? You get mad. And, you know, hopefully you don't hold a grudge, but it's like we remember that. We remember that this person doesn't know how to bring things back to neutral with us, how to fix things, how to make them things okay. You know, maybe, maybe the problem doesn't get fixed, but correcting things between the two of you goes a long way. People can overcome almost anything, but not without a correction. Well, you know, our children are no different. Not only that, but with our children, it's so important to make sure that we're also hitting our fourth Soul Keeper agreement and being a soul model or a role model. If you want your child to be able to apologize to you or to others, and for your child to learn how to be aware when they've done something wrong and that they need a correction, even if it's just saying, oh, sorry, then it's really important to make sure that we're modeling that. So as a Soul Keeper parent, the most important thing to do is to just look at our kids and go, you know, I'm sorry, I, I, I shouldn't have yelled at you, or, you know, I shouldn't have gotten upset, or, you know, I, I, whatever it is, I, I shouldn't have done that. Let's see how we can fix it. Because, you know, it's funny, when we try to save face, we're doing that to try to retain our position of authority or our power position. And it's almost like if we apologize, we lose that. We're weak. You know, those are the connotations that come along with that. Ironically, though, when it is that you actually apologize and bring forth the correction, you know, you say, you know, I'm sorry I got mad. I'm, I'm having a hard day and, you know, it, it happens to all of us. Let's you and I do something else now. Or, you know, let me give you a hug and make it better. Then you actually now occupy the real power position. That's because real power comes from the ability to take care of a situation appropriately and as well and holistically, so to speak, as possible. In other words, saying something like, you know, because I'm the mother and I said so, and that's that. That might terminate the conversation, but it certainly did not leave you in a whole place. Whereas instead if you say, you know, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm, I, I'm rushed, and um, I didn't mean to yell at you. Let's let's slow down. Let's go ahead. Tell me what you wanted to tell me, or you know, let's take care of what we need to take care of. Then, not only, like I said, are you in that power position, but notice. Hopefully, you can begin to notice some of the di difference. One of the things that'll help you do is it'll help you hone in on what's really important. It'll help you handle it well, and not only help you be a soul model so that your child will understand how to handle these sorts of things, but it'll greatly increase your relationship with your child. Because after all, we don't like for anyone, any other adult or any other child to slight us, to be rude to us, to take a bad mood out on us. So when we don't do that to our children, and generally the people we love most are children, then we start to pave the road for a far more glorious, wonderful, joyous, loving, and connected relationship with them. There's absolutely nothing wrong and everything right with shifting how you handle when you make a mistake, and you're going to help them learn how to handle when they make a mistake. And then it won't be long before they say to you, I'm sorry, I'm having a bad day, I didn't mean to talk to you that way, and you'll be thrilled. Thank you so much for joining me. Please visit CoachMaven.com or visit us on Facebook at Facebook Soul Keeper Parenting. 
to learn more about what's going on, see more videos, and um, to tap into more resources. Thanks.